Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm finally filming my full face of About Face. They currently don't have everything to create a full face so I'm going to be focusing on cheeks, eyes, and lips. But before we get into it, today's video is actually in partnership with About Face, which is super exciting for me. I can't believe it. It's kind of a pinch me moment. About Face is actually Halsey's brand and they launched January of last year, 2021. And they've so far come out with some really, really fun products. My favorite thing about the products is that they really take out my creative side. They're really fun to mix together to create your own things and the textures are so nice, as you'll see very shortly. All of the products are vegan, cruelty-free and clean and they cost around $17 to $32. I will of course be linking all the products I use in today's video in the description and they're also providing me with a discount code so please check that out if anything catches your eye. So before we get into the makeup look I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. I need to add some color to my cheeks ASAP and I'm first going to highlight and they have a couple of highlighter options. So they have a powder highlight, which I have not tried yet. They also have a stick highlighter, which is gorgeous. I only have the one shade. Uh, this is Greek Tragedy. It's a nice golden shade. It feels really nice and silky. I haven't used this one yet either. I'll also quickly swatch the powder highlight in the shade Stay in Bed. This is the powder one and the stick version. But the formula that I'm going to be using today is their liquid highlighters. I love these. And I'm using this formula because it's also going to help with my blush step in just a moment. Uh, I have a couple shades. I have Roses in the Walls, Shaken or Stirred, and Unrestrained. Here are the three liquid highlights that I have. So the purpley one is the shade Unrestrained. The middle one is Shaken or Stirred, which is my personal favorite, just because I can wear it day to day. And the pink one is the shade Roses in the Walls. I'm going to be using the shade Shaken or Stirred to begin with. When I first tried this formula, it was like an immediate favorite. It was so nice. It just melts right in and it has a super silky texture and it's a really nice fine pearl inside and there's no glitter whatsoever. So it is just straight up my alley. I'm just going to be using my finger to apply to my high points. I have found that fingers work the best. It just melts the product right in very quickly and it gets the most pretty result. They currently don't offer any blushes, but I really hope they launch some soon. That'd be really sick to see, but I'm going to mix up my own and I'm going to be using one of the matte fluid eye paints to do so. Actually, I'm going to use two shades, two shades in that and one of the liquid highlighters. So I'm going to be taking the shade Roses in the Walls from the liquid highlights and I'm going to be taking La Zona Rosa and oh, I don't know what color this is, I forgot. My little sticker fell off, hold on, let me figure it out. I'll put the shade name up on screen here. So I'm gonna take a few dots of these matte eye paints. I'm taking a majority of the pink and just a little dot of this brownie shade. It's like a nice soft brown. And I'm adding this just to neutralize it a touch so it's not so brightly pink. Maybe a little bit more of that brown there. I like that. Then I'm taking that liquid highlighter and I'm going to add a little drop of that in that mixture. And there is my pretty, pretty pearly blush shade. Ooh, that's really nice. And since this is kind of a pearlier blush shade, I'm going to apply it higher up on my cheekbones. Sometimes when I bring pearly products like in the center of my face, I don't like how it enhances my pores. So I like to keep it where I have smoother texture. Okay, I think that turned out way better than I even imagined. I really like that color I created. So now it's time to move on to the eyeballs and I'm going to be first going in with their Smoothening Shadow Fix, which is their eye primer. This is part of their newest launch. And I've been testing this out and it's a really great eyeshadow primer. Uh, it's really great for their fluid eye paints, but as well as other products too from different brands. It has like a unique texture, it kind of dries down to not a powdery state, it just kind of sets itself, which is really nice. So you're not going to have any creasing from the eyeshadow primer. So I always put a little bit in the center and I blend it out with my finger. I don't think I put enough on this eye, just a little bit more. 
but it does really provide a really soft and smooth base for any eyeshadow work. I have a loose idea of what I want to do for my eyes. I think a majority of the eye look is going to be made up of their fluid eye paints. They actually launched quite a few new shades. So they first came out with the primary collection. So you get a red, yellow, and a blue. So you can mix and match them and just create whatever color. They also have these soft pastels, which are really, really pretty. You get a soft pink, kind of a soft clementine, and this gorgeous soft brown, which I used on my cheeks. And the other one, which is my favorite, are the brights. Look how fun this little roundup is. I love them, especially this green here, all of them. They're all pretty together. This blue here is so eye-catching. And they also have these loose glitters, which is actually the first product I tried from About Face, and I immediately fell in love with them. They're really great. I think I'm going to incorporate one or two shades from these in today's look. They also have these really fun fractal eye paints. I'll give a couple of these a swatch. I don't know if I'm going to incorporate them yet. I might, but my favorite shade out of the three I currently own is Tin Pan Alley, because it looks like just a champagne shade, but it has like these really pretty lime green glitters in it. Gorgeous. So the second shade in the middle is Digital Demise, and the last one over there is Fracture. I didn't do a very good job at swatching the middle one there. I fixed it. So now let's get into the look. I'm a bit nervous. I hope my plan that's in my head works out. I'm sure it will. It will. I have confidence. I did forget to show you the other shades I have from their first initial launch. I have these ones right here. So just a couple neutrals, a teal, and a lime green. I'm actually going to be using one of them from the first round of products. This is the shade Smell Before Rain. I'm just going to use this in my crease. It's a perfect like little transitional color. So I'm taking that first shade and I like to apply like a couple little dots because if I swipe it, I just add way too much product than I need. I did get some on my lid, but that's going to be covered in those loose glitters shortly, so it's okay. So I'm going to be taking this red color. This is the shade Scream of Consciousness and I'm going to create like a really fun winged look with it. I'm going to take some on the back of my hand to begin with and I'm taking a small eyeliner brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this color just so that I can sketch out the look. So I'm first sketching a line right there and I wanna do like a lower lash line detail. I'm looking up into my mirror just so I can flatten my lid space under there. I love these products because you can do so much with them. You can blend them out really, really nicely and easily. You can do graphic eyeliners with them. You can pretty much do anything you want with them. And they have a great work time. They eventually do set down to a really matte state, but you get a lot of play time. This is looking like a little too sharp toothy for me right now. I'm tempted to add a third, but I think the two is kind of cool. I'm actually going to fade this into a pink soon. While I have this on the back of my hand, I want this in the inner corner. This is kind of turning out more spooky than I was envisioning, but I have a few other steps I'm going to be doing. I'm taking a bit of concealer on the back of my hand and I'm taking an angled brush to clean this up a touch. Now I'm adding a second layer to everything here to make sure it's opaque. I'm now grabbing this nice pink shade, La Zona Rosa, and I'm going to do the same thing, take some on the back of my hand. Looks kind of Valentine's Day-ish. I'm taking this little pointy brush and I'm going to start blending this across my lower lash line. Actually, I need a different brush because that one was a bit too thick. I'm going for an angled brush. I just want some precision. I want it to really hug my lash line in the inner portion over here. It was good to blend that out together. I'm going to wipe off that first little tiny, tiny liner brush that I was working with and I'm dipping into the pink and I'm gonna draw a little line. Oh my gosh, I've had so much caffeine today, why? 
I knew I was doing this today. I'm anchoring both of my elbows on my desk, so excuse me if I disappear for a second. Here's the eyeliner. I think that looks really cool. I'm kind of thinking of maybe adding another color, like outlining right there. Should I do that? What color would I use though? I'm taking this light pink. It's the shade On Point. I don't know if I'm going to outline this look with that color. Uh oh, what have I done? I'm gonna have to, oh no. That's what happened. I'm taking that and I'm going to add a dot. There, oh my God, I just almost poked myself in the eyeball. I'm gonna leave it at that for a second. I'll think about what other color I could do that in or if that would ruin things. But now I'm going to be taking my favorite loose glitter. This is the shade Saint Ceremony. It's so pretty, it has like violet and pink and gold and a little bit of like a blue shift in there too. It's really eye-catching. Um, this is a great product. I love how moisturized these loose glitters are so they don't get everywhere. I'm going to tap a little bit into the cap. And it's awesome because there's a sifter on here too so it doesn't like poof all over. And I'm first going to be using my finger. I might dampen a brush to get more precision but I just want to map it out with my finger. And I'm first tapping this in the center. I might not even have to dampen this. Just because I'm having fun, I'm going to add the shade Light Theory, which is like a really nice light, light pink. This eye look is coming together even better than I imagine. And I'm taking that lighter one right in the center. Okay, I have too much on my finger. just for extra drama. And I'll highlight my inner corner with that same lighter shade. And I'm going to go right in this little nook right here and flick up. I'm so tempted to do something right here. It would be cool even if you like really saturated this with some like a mixing liquid or even a setting spray um, and did a little liner to hug that. I'm having too much fun with this eye look, as you can tell, I don't want it to end. I'm just adding more and more details. I'm gonna have to stop at one point because it's gonna head south soon. I'm going to repeat that on this eye and I'll be right back. And here are both eyes done. I freaking love how this turned out. Uh, I look at this and I feel like Doja Cat would definitely wear this kind of a look. Ah, I just am so happy to have this red most of all. I've been searching for like a red eyeliner or red just shadow in general for so long but they're always not pigmented enough or they're very crumbly and hard to work with which this isn't like it was really easy to achieve this and it's very comfortable. For my lips before I line them up with the actual color I'm going to be going in I'm just really curious to see what this eye look would look like paired with a red lip. This is one of their newer colors. This is the shade Serrated Bite. It's a bright cherry red and these are liquid lipsticks this looks like such a nice red Ooh, it kind of might work oh my god is that the move this is kind of cool this is really cool but just for fun, I might just try on the shade I was initially thinking. These are great liquid lipsticks because they're super lightweight feeling. So when they're on your lips, you don't feel like that classic drying texture or anything. You just get that crazy pigment and the long lasting finish. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think I'm kind of sold on that red now. But I was initially thinking of one of these pinks. That one is Baby's Arms. And this next one is Unforgettable Season which I think suits this look a little bit more. I was kind of thinking of diffusing it a little bit with a lip liner, of course. But I think this makes it look really Valentine's Day, whereas the red color makes it look super badass. I think I'm in a super badass mood. I didn't think it was going to take this turn, but here we are. I'm going to line my lips with the shade Sound the Alarm, which is one of the lip liners. These lip liners are really awesome. You get really precise application. It's really hydrated as well, so it just glides across your lips. They're very lightweight and they don't like crumble or flake, they just stay hydrated, but they never bleed.
Just because my lips are really dry, I'm just adding a touch of lip balm in the center. That is so vibrant. Please, that is so fun and dramatic. I'm just going to fix my hair and I'll be right back. You guys, I feel so cool in this look. Are you kidding? I feel extremely, extremely cool. I cannot wait to go take a million photos of this look. <laughs> but there we have it. There is my full face of About Face. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, I wanted to say a huge thank you to About Face for sponsoring today's video. It means so much to me. And what incredible products. These are so fun to create really interesting looks with. Um, and you can also alter them to a more subdued kind of everyday vibe if you want to. They're so fun to experiment and mix together. I always get inspired and excited when I pull out some of the About Face products. And I really hope this video inspired you too as well. But that's going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, I will be linking everything I used in today's video in the description down below. So feel free to check that out as well as the discount code that About Face is providing me. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.